in with the heroes down at first and then even lightning after the fact but here we go with early attacks taking on va esports and we've got max who has been a very fast attacker he's also bringing in an overgrowth here probably to be overgrowthing the town hall to get as fast as possible yes trying to get this attack as quickly as possible within again the early warn ability to push the troops inside and try to take advantage of the overall 25 seconds healing of that healing tome ability yeah as that town hall is overgrowth they're going to completely walk right around it continuing his way through with six more super barbs to deploy on the backside of this base with that king ability and we always know you cannot be taking of anything other than the giant gauntlet. So if you haven't unlocked it, make sure to go get it in the shop. It will be 1,500 gems. Totally worth it. It will be making a huge difference in your attacks. As now here comes some more troops into the core. Still, ha there's the ability going off. As now we just have to finish on that town hall. Yeah, but he's just knowing that his root rides are strong enough and have enough health left of making sure that the last building of the Ooh. town hall is still going down and this was as well a quite nice quick attack from max versus achilles from early attacks and early attacks was actually one of the teams with the best defensive rate um over the stages of the tournament so far mm -hmm. so the question is then as well if they could pick one or even maybe two or already one defense would be quite impressive at this stage but see if they can follow the steps of tribe of defending actually versus the root riders well, Max just came in with a 1 minute, 15 second attack. And that's where Tribe was with, with each one of their attacks. Is the question is, can the rest of the players here for VA Esports continue with the very quick attacks? It All it takes is one thing to mess it up. A Troll Tesla in the corner can cost you seconds and cost you a match here. And early attacks, they have also been putting up perfect wars. VA Esports as well. So this one... I think we'll be definitely coming down to a 15-15 and whoever is quicker will be winning this one here. Is it the Jinx? Is it the Jinx? No, we, we it's, will see. it's we'll possible. See. <laughs> I it's, can't. it's possible no. for sure. I mean, I, I tried it as well during the, um, during the group stage saying like, okay, guys, everything is coming down to time. And then yeah. I have not able like I wasn't able to stream a single 15-15 match. I, I don't know what was going on there, but mm -hmm. hey, Let's hope that I can finally get the 15-15 score here with this match going on right now and then see who can put up the fastest time and get that victory then in the end to stay in the upper bracket. Indeed, yeah, because these teams know that a Troll Tesla, a small little trap, who knows, can help cause the heroes to just walk outside the wrong way. We know they'll come back and end up finishing it off and get it, but it'll just take some more time. And Max is definitely one of the quicker attackers on this team. So the rest of the players are going to have to definitely bring it. But I'm definitely interested to see if... Like you mentioned before, will one of these players be bringing a fireball maybe, you know, to pop that warren ability to hit something, get some more value, or even a giant arrow of the queen to help with some speed up as an arrow flies across the base. As now Achilles is coming in here, and we are moving in with the Root Riders as we do not have an overgrowth that we've been seeing recently now or usually this town hall, but he's just continuing his way through the core to then burn this warden ability to protect everything. Yeah, we actually have a couple of heaters on that queen, so it's kind of like a somewhat queen walk um, combined with the root riders while they take down the core of the base. We have the queen taking care of the outside buildings. Royal Gym at the top side um, to take down the town hall eventually. But those right shop defenses behind the town hall, they are hitting hard, and he's not hitting that... Uh, well, that ricochet cannon with the freeze. Yeah. Oh, oh that one mistake could call. Okay, the jinx. Wait, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> There's no way. Well, man, you know, he, that the outside just needed to be frozen there. You know, I just wanted to make the attack a little bit more difficult, right? As he continues to move through this base, as the lava hound will distract this queen. The royal champion still has her ability. Pops it, and here comes the hog riders on the outside. And he's going to move through with this Queen ability intact. But the question is, a minute 15, that's the mark that Max set in his previous attack. And this mark has been already surpassed. So we will have the lead on time for now for VA Esports. And Max is defending 
and attacking already early on. Nice job for him. We have to take a look there now on the other side and see who is getting those quicker attacks in. Um, but so far, yeah. we have the small lead on time yeah. uh, for a VA Esports. Yeah, the difference is 20 seconds. That is this time differential. We have VA Esports with a minute 15, while we have early attacks with a minute 35. So that 20 seconds is total time, and we'll be keeping you update, up to date with the time here throughout this match if they continue to bring three stars, and if that is, ends up being the tiebreaker, because we know that is if it is a completely perfect war. But one fail, and time pretty much is thrown out the window. You don't have to worry about that. But not only is this Root Rider Valkyrie attack so strong in terms of getting like uh, fast triples, it's also just so strong that they really don't need to worry about bringing any other attack to triple because this one is just will almost triple with them just sending all the troops in and it'll just wrap around you don't have to worry about the town hall anymore yeah and i mean at this point it's more about like how you deploy the troops when it comes down to creating this wave we have talked about earlier mm -hmm. which means trying to like take down the entire base over the entire distance uh, of the mm -hmm. entire well base length kind of um, to make sure that the time is as optimal as possible because then yeah. troops do not have to backtrack as you said for like draw tests and stuff like that they just can move forward as a huge wave overrolling the base and that's then mm -hmm. where you can get th get those insanely quick times as what we have yeah. seen from tribe so far what was the quickest time you've ever seen uh because i know we've saw, heard what was exorcist was under yeah. 60 seconds recently was there anyone faster that, uh, I don't. You've seen? I think that was the quickest attack I've heard of. It was like 59, okay. 58 seconds, right? Like wow. something like those in th that area. So it was barely below the one minute mark, which is crazy to yeah. think about. Like not even one minute. Um, but I think it was so far. I guess uh, the, the record. Maybe maybe Chet can tell us. But uh, for now, we have the next attack in with the Root Rider combination and the Overgrowth spell again, making sure that. They can just push into the core, don't worry about the town hall, just pass it, and then take it down on the last kind of like bidding. Yeah, as the king still has his ability, queen going through this tassel farm that pops up right in front of her with Valkyries coming out. And remember, with that new level of the siege barracks, you do get an extra P.E.K.K.A. So two P.E.K.K.A.s come out. And if you weren't re uh, aware, the P.E.K.K.A. that comes out of your siege barracks is the current P.E.K.K.A. that you have unlocked. So if you unlock towards the max P.E.K.K.A., that will be the level that comes out of the siege barracks. So upgrading your P.E.K.K.A. is pretty important for your attacks if you ever do have a siege barracks. So we still have the king ability now just going off, wrapping his way back to the town hall. The queen does not have her ability anymore. And the town hall is still up here for Dobbs, and the monolith is right next to it. Um, uh oh. Wait a um, second. Wait a second. No. Um, he has the phoenix on there. Is it a one star, actually? I mean, I told you. I somehow I cannot stream 15 15 matches. Like, trust me. When I'm not, not casting it's the not next fault. match, when I'm not casting the next match, you will see a 15-15. Like, it's impossible for me to cast those 15-15 matches. I have tried it on my own during the group stage. I, I, it's not wor It's not happening. It's not happening. And this is, yet again, another defense. Uh, and I'm sorry. I'm not here. But... I'm not here. It's not <laughs> my fault. It's not my fault. Carmen did a great I didn't job. Say, I didn't say anything. What is There's no proof, right? Uh, no one clipped it. No one, no one uh, recorded that, right? I said no such thing. Uh, what? I don't even know what jinxing means. I, uh, it's weird. It's weird, but uh, it, it seems like uh, yeah, a one star now in this meta. Really, uh, you you know that you don't really stand a chance after that because the teams at that point don't have to worry about time. They don't even have to worry about at least tripling every single one of their attacks at the moment because even if they just get a two star one of their attacks, they are perfectly fine and perfectly go okay to advance even though just the one star is crazy yeah you don't expect that here but you know what happens it's it's not my fault that's all i have to say i didn't do nothing <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean chat do your thing clip it and ship it and do everything <laughs> you can but i mean you said it it's for sure um mm. not the optimal thing to do in the current meta but as well we yeah. have seen that 
you apparently cannot just copy the style of attacking of tribe and just replicate yeah. it on every base if you don't have the training in with this approach because it is risky you're kind of relying on your root riders having enough health pushing through the base because they're like pushing past the town hall and then coming back having the town hall as the last building which yeah. is really time efficient but it can result in fails like we have just seen because the town hall is literally the last building you're trying to avoid the town hall explosion avoiding the town hall poison to use that early warn ability mm -hmm. but town on the back end can be risky and this is what we have just <clears throat> seen and then on the other side now now i i'm just hoping for some non root rider <laughs> attacks because early attacks they can just play it safe so if yeah. we see like i don't know someone playing it safe with like lalo or something uh would be mm -hmm. highly appreciated to to see because mm -hmm. well time is not the factor anymore and okay it's it's something different okay i'm happy yes. with this one it's super dragons now but typically they are really quick as well yeah as the queen is going to work through this defensive king toward the bottom side eagle is exposed down here able to reach it pretty quickly and you don't have to worry about time now at this point it's not going to play a factor as Super Dragons are down with the Grand Warden to move through the Queen. And this is typically where we'll see a blimp to fly across the base to help make its way to the Town Hall. But notice he has a clone, so the blimp is not going to land on the Town Hall, but before it, so he can clone up the Super Minions to help get a lot of value. That's right, the blimp is flying. No trap so far. It seems like to be no red mine, so this blimp is getting all the value he needs. He's turning the monolith invisible trying to now not yep not going to hit it this time the monolith is going down the rocket dude is coming off the clan cast and no other troops should be there left anymore all of the super dragons though went to the far left side so the heroes now have to worry and fight versus this bottom part of the base with the rage tower yeah as that king ability has gone off freezing to help protect this royal champion moving her way through with some Super Dragons to the top side just to continue their path as the Raw Champion does pop her ability. Has one Balloon left, potentially drop to the air defense up top to protect some of the Super Dragons as the Queen is getting hit by this Ground Expo. So it is doing quite a bit of damage and the Queen does go down. And we have this three Super Dragons still trying to path their way through these final buildings. Ooh, the final buildings with an air defense on the back end. We have uh, no Phoenix on that Warden. We have two Super Dragons, and they have to hope that there is no more Black Mines. Otherwise, this could be problematic. He can tank the air defense with the minions, but otherwise, I don't know. He does do exactly that with the minions onto this air defense. The Warden snipes it one shot and takes that down for a three star with these super dragons and early attacks you know all they have to move through is three stars and even they could afford a two star and they will be taking this match because we did see unfortunately a one star that it did come in from va esports and in this meta a one star really can spell the end just like that i mean va esports is hoping for something to go their way you never know technically never over until the final attack is completed and we have seen two defenses from tribe uh, earlier already so mm -hmm. anything can happen anything can happen it now depends on how um early attacks maybe adapts with their with their strategies because i mean we have seen uh fails but most of the time people are saying that they're failed because of well they had to go for the quickest mm -hmm. attack possible and not for the safest so now early attacks have to showcase that they can go for those safe three stars and uh make sure that they just completely ignore the fact of time and just concentrate on this triple in the end on the other yeah. side well we need to make sure that the esports they're just ignoring what just happened keep going hoping for a miracle and again trying to end on a high some high star for them from yeah. this current position because remember it's a double elimination so they have to play at least once more and for that you don't want to finish with like i don't know not the best performance let's put it that way yeah you've been in situations like this well not this meta before but i mean it, it's been a little bit so in a competitive sense what would you be doing in your team if something like that happened 
I would rely on Maxi boosting everyone up uh, when it comes down to mood, and and yes. like he would cheer people up, and everyone would get <laughs> hyped and motivated, and we would still feel like we could easily win everything. So that's kind of like what it. I would do. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the pro tip: get a Maxi in your team, and you will be fine. Happy time ah, for yeah. everyone. But Absolutely. we have again the same approach <laughs> with the Root Riders and the Overgrowth spell. And now we hope that those Root Riders have enough power to actually get back to the Town Hall and take it down. Yeah, with that Overgrowth on the Town Hall, completely ignoring it, moving around. Valkyries coming to the left side. Tassels did pop up there as well. Well, they go down pretty quickly, but here comes the Town Hall. Now reusing the freeze on the Town Hall, but the King is still there and absolutely crushing the Town Hall. Taking it down in just a few shots as continuing through, and we are going to have a three star indeed. Now, just take a look at the time. There's just about a minute left. This is a very quick attack here. Yes, this is for wow. sure an attack on the level of what we have seen Ooh. from Tribe. It was even a little bit faster than what we have seen from most of the Tribe members there. That was an insanely quick attack and really yeah. nicely done. And it's just so unfortunate that they just had yeah. this 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 well massive one star earlier yeah. but at least this is exactly what they had to do like come back for them cheer them up have a great result in this specific attack but then finish off with two more great attacks and now it's to up to early attacks i mean they have everything under their control they are yeah. up to decide okay do we let them have a chance of a comeback or are we just going to finish strong and get out of the remaining attacks with three stars which is sometimes easier said than done even though yeah. even in the current meta yeah in this meta it's really you're just going to be having to bring the almost i mean jinxing i don't know what that is almost perfect wars and tribe hasn't failed yet so if you go up against them you're going to have to bring that and around a minute 30 second attacks it's crazy to think that if you have an attack that's two minutes it's oh you know it's it's considered very slow for these pro players very very slow and if an attack comes in as a fail then that usually means typically you almost took the whole time right and that really will add to the time in your attacks and if it does come down to a tiebreaker scenario in that case usually it doesn't when it's not a perfect war there but you're usually not going to win when it comes down to something like that but you never know as we still have plenty of attacks to come in here, not only in this match, but for the rest of today. There's a total of eight matches. This is match number two of day one of the playoffs, where we'll be concluding tomorrow to see out who is going to be crowned the champion of the world's warm-up, as now Haroya is up with some Zap Lalo here. Okay. Yeah, and whenever I see those tunnel compartments, I'm more like the walls around the tunnel, I just have to like, it's kind of funny because those walls have like slowly came up during the time um, of the first, maybe second push season uh, of Tunnel 16 because people were first up always in the king with the new epic equipment for the town hall and it always worked and you could not really do that much. Then people have started to put an invisibility tower behind the town hall. The important thing is that it actually was like touching the town hall because then the splash damage of the epic equipment actually, well, took down the invisibility tower and protected the town hall with that. And now people have started to do the little warring around the town hall that the king would need to walk behind the town hall and then to the town hall. So it's really hard to get the town hall just with the barbarian king, which was the meta for quite some time versus those box type bases. But this attack overall looks really solid, even though the king went to the outside, because the queen, take a look at that, there is literally no damage on her, why she can take down so many oh. defenses around that top side. But something that came out of here was that the Seeking Air Mine stopped the blimp from landing on the Town Hall, which means you can then go with go Sneaking Goblins to help secure it. But the Town Hall has gone down as he is flying up and around the space, still has the Queen ability, has a haste, has a freeze, drops a freeze on the backside to help try to protect the Queen, as the Royal Champion still has her ability, but is getting slowed up by these Ice Golems. That's right, the Royal Champion is getting activated with her ability. The Hogs are trying to push across and what is going on? The attack is really close with more loons coming in, but still there's a back end which I found out the rage tower is reloading, the warding going down, there was uh -oh. no phoenix on it, and they just had to play it safe. There, there was no time pressure whatsoever. Is it going to be enough though? The phoenix is trying to tank the scatter. 
And these balloons are trying to make their way through that ice golem was not used for anything. Finding some red air bombs. The hound pops. These balloons have been killed off. And we have one balloon left. And my... Wow. This is going to be a defense here. A straight up defense. Not even going to be a time fail because these defenses still remain. And will take out the rest of his troops. Which means that VA Esports have a chance they have a chance for sure as we have said tribe earlier has defended twice um and this could happen again i mean this could happen again it is the best teams on offense but as well on defense and especially with the pressure on the line things can go wrong and it's not the highest percentage either so one more fail even to 99 could yep. possibly mean the comeback for VA Esports, and this is exactly what needed to happen for them. I mean, wow. just being, I mean, right now they feel probably like they're in the lead, even though I mean, they are not, but the current with the, with the on their own, the insanely quick three star, and then now a defense back to back, they, the momentum is right now on their side, even though it yeah. might sound strange, but this is currently how it works. They for sure know they can win. They just have to keep tripling it out, which, we have said it earlier, sounds easier than it is. This last attack was the proof. They had no time pressure whatsoever, but yeah. yet they still failed. And, well, anything can happen still. With that time right there is a huge differential because VA Esports, yes, they're down by a star. They do have the percentage because their one fail was a 97, while early attacks one fail was a 94. In terms of time, if it does come down to that time factor, Early attacks are currently at a total of 6 minutes and 40 seconds total time for all their attacks combined. And VA Esports is currently at 4 minutes, 4 seconds. So from 4 minutes, 4 seconds to 6 minutes, 40 seconds, that is a big gap right there. So now we're going to have to see if VA Esports can triple their final two attacks. And if early attacks fails just one more, they'll lose because of percentage. Yes, that's right. Anything can happen. And, well, we, we have to wait what the next surges will look like. They have tried Lalo now on the early attack side. It has not yeah. worked. We have seen a one star already with the Root Riders. And we see another core Town Hall base. And again with the Overgrowth spell. We have seen earlier exactly with this approach the one star. But can they make it work this time? Root Riders are in. The Ice Golem is getting Spring Trapped away actually. So they were predicting this entry with some spring traps to try to take down Valkyries early on and the Queen yet again is pushing around the outside with the Root Riders and the Warner Blitzy pushing through the core. Yeah with that Queen making her way up to the top she can path her way into the Eagle Artillery to help take that down as he has overgrown so much value including the Town Hall, the back end Ricochet, the Monolith and some Root Riders are pathing the way to the left side and that King can help use his uh, giant gauntlet to help path the Town Hall once it comes back alive from the overgrowth still has four freezes to use in this attack here well there goes another freeze but this king the king is on the channel everything is fine the king is on the channel with the equipment with the epic um gauntlet it should be no problem taking that out the root riders are on the back and we have even the super hog riders um from the Siege Barracks on the back end as well. The Royal Champion Vitality and that is going to be indeed a nice three star for Leo on this one. And a quick one as well. VA Esports are not slowing down. They're just trying to keep up their momentum and early attacks. They have to get their next three star in and have to make sure that they are, well, three starring. Yeah, they do. They have to be sure that the three stars are coming in here and they can now fail. I mean, at this meta, and there's obviously less pressure in terms of, okay, I have to three-star in terms of obviously to win, but it is easier to three-star for these pro players than what that Tunnel 15 meta was last year. That was where you get a three-star, and that can make or break your war, be really obviously helping to advance. But in this one, it's really about if you fail, what went wrong? Did your hero go the wrong way? Was your plan just wrong from the start? And do they go with an attack that they've come through with, with for the years? Or do they go with the attacks that are super strong in this meta? Yeah, that's always the, the things they have to decide. They have tried the Super Dragons now, which was really close. They have went with the Lalo, which did fail in the end for them. So are they going back to the Root Riders, which they have gotten the 4 star early on with? 
um, and keep their streak then, or getting back to their wasn't never was like a two streak, I guess, of three stars. So like, if they can get back to that streak and continue it with uh, them more three stars. Yeah, they just got to bring the three stars and they know they can win this match to advance in the upper bracket because this is double elimination. You lose one match, you're still in it. You still have a chance. But if you lose the very first one, then you're going to have to grind your way all the way back up which is going to be a very difficult task because we're now seeing Riga Torres coming in with the E-Dragons. The E-Dragons indeed. The Slammer early on just on the flank to go for the air defense and funnel the Electro Dragons. Not a blimp or something towards the Town Hall. So the idea for the Town Hall with the Invisible Tower, not sure what that's going to be. Maybe the king delayed for the channel. That could be possibly it. He's not sending the king in early on because he doesn't need to worry about the time. Electric Dragon to the far right side having some nice chains but the king now instead is with the queen and the channel is just getting ignored for now. Yeah, with these rages on these E-Dragons into the core, looking to get the chains as he throws the Monolith Town Hall and the Invisibility Spell and these E-Dragons in the core will get Sue. Hang on, wait, he still has heroes to run around. The Town Hall's gone invisible. But wait a second, these E-Dragons, they have completely gutted the core. We do have one Inferno that's still standing there. As the King ability goes off, two wall breakers to try to help the Queen, but she is pretty low health. She is low health. The Royal Gem has to come in to support that. The Town Hall did go down with the remaining Electric Dragons and the Warden itself. The King nicely tanking, but there's a lot of damage. Now, what is in that Royal Champ equipment-wise? Uh, we have the heal healers getting activated for the Queen, which have her own tower scatter, the Seeking Shield. And I think that should be enough with two more spells, the one freeze and now an invisibility spell still left. It looks close in the middle part yeah. of the attack, you have to say, with the Town Hall turning, getting turned invisible, the back end, the stacked area, but... Riga Taurus is going to get that three star. But oh my lord, th those attacks, they do not really look that convincing to me. <laughs> I have to say it. So I think who's the last attacker for early attacks? Is it is it Yata? Yada. It's Yada, yep. yeah. And he is so mm -hmm. far perfect, right? Like he's so far perfect yeah. on 16 with Rikir as one of the only players um so far left out there who is well perfect on Tano 16. We're not talking about this tournament, we're talking, I think, overall of Tano 16 duration, and that's yeah. just madness and it is well having him as a last attacker is giving you a lot of safety i guess it is for sure yada who has really loved to use bowlers in the previous years but will he be using bowlers or is he going to be going in with the meta he's definitely a pro and knowing how to get those smash attacks through the core and getting so much value but we have a final attack coming in from each side in this match and time is totally on VA Esports' side, but that's not a factor in this match as it's just about stars and percentage, where if Jesus, who's got the final attack for VA Esports, if he triples, then we'll have to see early attacks must triple in order to win. A 99% from Yada would spell a defeat even after VA Esports came in with a one star from Dobbs earlier in this match. But anything can happen. You have to focus on your final attacks here to try to win and advance in the upper bracket here in the world's warm up. That's right for sure. I mean, you want to stay in this upper bracket to have the best chance to really get to the finals as quickly, but as well, like not having to play that many matches, expose that many bases, and so on, which is always an important factor. But we have the next attack on our way, and there we have it. We have a Lalo attack for Jesus. And it's going to be a uh, Zap one with uh, quite a few lightnings. The classic hero combination, it seems like, with the Queen with her heal equipment and the Invisibility Bile. I think then the... Oh, wait, that's something interesting. Typically, we see with Lalo attacks, a lot of pros are going with the um, Life Gem. Yeah. But on this one, we have the Eternal Heal, like the Healing Tome. Yes. And I was actually just going to ask you the question because I know Jesus, he loves bringing the healing tome with his Lalos and he's not bringing the life gem. I personally haven't maxed out or really leveled up my healing tome really that much, which it can be really useful for root rider attacks. But 
We're seeing the use here of the healing tome to help heal these balloons up, and a million air skellies popping up here. But the town hall has gone down as these balloons are just being uh, sprinkled around the space to try to help overwhelm it. As the royal champion is now down, then sent to the bottom side. That's right, with the royal champ around the around the back end of this base. But wait a uh -oh. second, the dudes just disappeared. Wait. Wow. Roy Champion with her ability. She's having, I think it was the Roy Jam with the Haste Fire, yeah. right? She has to turn invisible again to not get targeted by the Singer Phone Tower. The Queen is oh. keep pushing for it. She has her ability, but this backhand, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, and I don't think so. No, with the Defensive King still there, that Queen's ability has gone off. He's got a freeze in. A fail is a fail here in this one which really means that early attacks all they have to get is a two star to win their war here and unfortunately with a freeze left this queen is trying her absolute best to stay alive but no more unicorn on her mm -hmm. hang on we do have a grand war and altar queen uses a freeze so that the archer doesn't <laughs> kill this queen. Super Barbarian down on the bottom side. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. This queen can get healed back up. Wait, did we speak too soon? The minion I mean, is working on the clan castle. The queen should stay away from the wall, which yeah. means the warden should be out of range, right? So yep. as long as she's not... That would be so... Poo oh, she's oh, in range! Oh, no! She is in oh. range! Queen! Step a little to the left. What are you doing? No way. And it's going to be the fail. I mean, the minion is going to make it, a, I guess, 99 if the minion has enough time. But it's not going to take down that warden. And it's going to be 12 stars for VA Esports versus early attacks. We have said earlier, early attacks had the best defense coming uh, coming into this, this group stage. They had the best defense of all the teams. And they're proving it yet again with holding back VA Esports to 12 stars. Wow, 12 stars here in this meta is really unheard of with these pro players. So you're holding a team to that and you're almost guaranteeing your spot to advance with that. So unfortunately not able to get a victory for VA Esports because they know that early attack just has to get a two stars to be able to advance and win this match. But VA Esports will still have a chance in the lower bracket unless something happens early attacks in this next attack here. But they could just go for the safe two star. Do you bring in overgrowth on the town hall and then troops run around it? Or you just go right on through the town hall, get it, get the 50% and you're good to go. Yeah, I feel like we're back on Donald 15. Get the safe two star, <laughs> you're going to look great. It's, it's amazing. But no, we're actually on Donald 16. But yeah. Seems like history has not changed. Still, two stars win wars uh, on this one. <laughs> Getting that then for them the victory. But I guess they want to go for the obvious three stars because, as we have said, most of the teams have to play multiple matches, not only today, but as well tomorrow. We will yes. have the entire thing finishing off this weekend to crown our champion for this warm up tournament. And. Well, they want to finish this match on a high, getting that next three star. And especially, I think, Yada do not want to risk his perfect streak so far on Town of 16. I think the late, the last time I checked um, was like 39 out of 39 or something crazy. Uh, oh, wow. -wise. I think Rikiris was back then when I checked the, the screenshot. It was like 33, 35-ish, something in that range. Uh, Chat, if you know, like... the. <laughs> If I did something wrong with the stats, let me know. But that was the last time when I checked with the with the screenshot there. Which is either way, it's incredible. Like going that in pro matches is just super impressive. Even in a meta like Town of 16, um, there's not many people out there anymore which are completely perfect. There is fails from time to time. We're seeing it already in the first two matches of these uh, playoffs. And going perfect is really impressive. Yeah, it's all about going perfect with this meta. So let's see if we will see Yada coming in with a three star. He's got the Root Riders not bringing his bowlers as the lightning spell does come off right away. As we have a baby dragon off to the left side as we're seeing a healing tome going to be used on this warden, which is typical coming in with the Root Riders and also going to pair it in with the hog puppet on the royal champ and the root riders are down 
and here's the rest of his troops. There we go, going with the lock launcher because he wants to trigger that invisibility tower early on. The single phone tower, I think, already took down one of the root batters. The king is going in closer to the town direction, which I think is good for him. The queen going in there as well. And warden ability has been not used so far. I think he had already lost a few of the root riders, but they're just so, so tanky that if he's now using the warden ability, they're getting healed back up and they have again just so many hit points. Yeah, with this king can use his ability to try to path his way to the town hall. All you need is a second star. No matter what, it will be a victory as the queen's going to path her way to the town hall with a freeze being used. There is the warden and eternal tome being used later, which is not typical with a lot of these pros using the warden ability really, really early to help try to help protect as many troops as possible. As the queen ability goes off, town hall is going down and the second star has now just been confirmed. There's still a lot of defense on the back end. I mean, the Royal Champ and the King ability will have a really high chance of making quick work of that. He's using the King ability early, surprisingly. I thought he would wait to actually take down all of the Tesla on the back end. The King being smarter than the Queen, going around the corner and to the outside of the base, tanking for all of his troops. And the Royal Champ coming in with another Rage. Corbin, I think he is keeping his streak. There come the, <laughs> the spring champs. <laughs> but Super Barons were still there. They were part of the party. And another three star is in. Early attacks confirms the victory. And getting the or getting to the next step in the in the upper bracket. Well done to you, early attacks. Getting it done. And we have now seen them put up 14 stars, but. I mean, they're going to be advancing and putting up 14 stars against a team, let's say against Tribe, that would not be enough because Tribe is a completely perfect through the group stage and they went perfect in the very first match. And VA Sports coming in with 12 stars and unfortunately 12 stars is not going to be anywhere close to be winning in a meta like this. But great effort as we did see triples coming in from Leto, Leo, Hades and Max. Yeah, and that attack from Hades and from Leo, both of them were super quick. On the other side, from early attacks, imagine if their first one shot would have not happened. I'm not sure if they would have done anything different from their yeah. latest attacks, but they were all quite slow. 2 minute 13, 2 minute 10, 1 minute 53, uh, the 2 star obviously with like 2 minute 52. So overall, quite surprising. Only their first attack when kind of the pressure was on. After that, the pressure was kind of off. You said one star typically means that you have a pretty much free win in the current meta, but they made it close. They made it look close in the end, and uh, I hope they can step it up then for the next upper bracket match.